Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday, really quick, in a rush, no makeup makeup tutorial. Um, it's very minimal, just a couple of products, super easy. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and then we're going to get started. Okay, first thing is first, really quick. I'm just going to tie up my hair. I should have done this. I should have done this before I sat down to film, but you know, whatever. I've already moisturized my skin and I'm going to start off by taking the Anastasia Dewey set and I'm just going to spray the shit out of my face. And now I'm going to take the MAC Face and Body and the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging SPF 50 and I'm just going to mix them together because the face and body does not have SPF in it. And I'm just going to mix them, literally just like in my hand, really quick, slap it on with your fingers. Just make sure you're rubbing it in really well. I know that this looks dark on my face, but I have a fake tan on and it matches my neck and my body. So just rub it in really well around the jawline, down the neck, and that's it for that. Now take any concealer and just spot conceal like your problem area, so here, 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 right here, and a tiny dab under the eyes. Take a sponge really quick, buff it in. This is not a full coverage look. This is just something to get you out the door and presentable in as little amount of time as possible. And that's it for the face, for all liquid products. Now I'm going to take the same sponge we were using, any powder. I'm just going to take the under eye powder in my favorite, the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt. Put it on my sponge, tap off the excess. And super lightly pat under the eye on the lid. Anywhere you put concealer or where you get shiny. That is it for that. Now is where you decide if you think blush is more important, bronzer or highlight. For me, I don't really care too much about the blush. For me, it's more bronzer and highlight. So super quick, take a bronzer powder brush, dip it in really, really lightly just to give your face some color. That is it for that. Highlight to me is very important. I'm going to take the brush that I normally use for my blush, just the JH06, a really like flimsy, long hair, loose bristle brush. I'm going to dip it into my highlighter, tap off the excess and go along the tops of the cheeks and dusting it over the cheekbone. I think the more, like when you have your skin peeking through and you just go over it with highlighter on the high points, I just think it looks so pretty and like glowy and like healthy like you can see. How glowy. Take a brush. If you went a little too crazy like I did, just blend it all in. Now I'm going to take, really quick for my brows, the Anastasia Dip Brow Brow Gel in Soft Brown. And I'm just going to comb through my brows really quick. I'm not really defining the shape of them or anything. I'm just combing through and giving some color and that kind of takes care of filling in where it's sparse. This product is amazing. And you can kind of take the tip of this and outline your brow if you want to get a little bit more precise. 
That's it for the brows. If you want a little too ham like I did, take a Q-tip and clean it up. We do not have time to be carving on our brows with concealer today. We just don't. That is it for that. Now, I'm going to normally every day wear lashes. Today I'm just going to curl mine and throw on some mascara. So curl your lashes. Give them a really good curl. And then go ahead and do your mascara. Today for mascara I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Oldie but a goodie. Curling your lashes really makes a difference. I think lashes and brows make the biggest difference. So if you take anything away from this video, do your brows, curl the hell out of your lashes, and apply a shit ton of mascara. And if you make a mess, like I did, wait till it dries and just flake it off with a spoolie or a Q-tip. You can do your lower lashes if you want. I have pretty long lower lashes, so I never really put mascara on them. So for me, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to take a lip balm. Rub it all over my lips. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. I say this in like all my videos, I really like it. That's it for that is it for like the entire makeup look. I'm just gonna take again the dewy set and spray my face. That is it for this everyday no makeup makeup look. I'm looking at the timestamp on my camera and it took me less than nine minutes from start to finish to film this. So if you have nine minutes in the morning, really quick, you can do this. I promise. So easy, very minimal product. And as you can see, it just looks really polished, put together. This is my go-to makeup look when I'm in a rush or if I'm feeling lazy or I just need to be out the door and look presentable really quick. This is what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.